if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos start visual studio click on new project windows and select the project location the maybe done the tutorial folder i just select the folder and the project name is a prime number dynamically just click on ok yes the project is created and now i'm just, just designed this form uh, so for displaying the prime number from 1 to 100 or any range uh, in vb.net in that case i'm just adding a button control and a label this level one is for, for title and a list box uh, control list box one okay now in the text is label text is uh, get prime number DB. Okay, resize that. Now, this is the text box font size 18 and font bold 2. Okay, now it's displaying as title and for color is a uh, button white. And now, button control change the text of the button. Go to the property and change the text of the button. Uh, text is a uh, get and for color is button highlight and uh, back color is uh, dark green okay now it's uh, looking fine and change the back color of this form yes okay my design is ready now now go to the button click event yes now I'm just uh, oh writing code to display the prime number a prime number is whole number greater than one with the factor r1 and itself factor is a number that can be multiplied or divided to product with a method for example 17 18 19 20 17 into 1 so it's prime number because it has no factor except one and itself 18 6 into 3 so it's prime number it's composite number 19 19 to 1 so it's prime number because it has no factor except one and itself and then it's okay then check prime equal to one first of all uh, check prime into one i am i just declaring the variable check prime and i and prime number as integer okay for prime number 1 to 100 I will extract prime number from 1 to 100 in the by click button click event and the 1 to 100 prime number will display from 1 to 100 uh, display in the list box so for I equal to 2 to prime number minus 1 I mean it's a start from uh, 0 uh, if prime number mode I equal to 0 I mean after divide it will uh, display if, if it will zero after mode operation then check prime equal to zero it's not prime number check prime equal to zero so means it's not prime number what result will get is not prime number else i mean after mode operation if, if, if it's not zero then uh, it's prime number it will perform mode operation from 2 to loop value minus 1 until the result is being 0. If the result is 0, then it's not prime and exit loop is its prime. Okay, now uh, you can understand the notation. Perfect. And then after completing the loop operation, then the result. If check prime equal to 1, I mean if it's getting the prime number, then it, the number will add in the list box. Yes, get 1, 2, 3. Oh, sorry, something wrong. Okay, let's uh, rectify. Now, just uh, add, uh, add code, just uh, uh, exit loop, exit uh, for loop. If you exit the for loop, it will ignore the uh, that uh, number which is not prime just click on get yes 1 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 all are 
all the number displaying which is not prime which is prime number okay mm. now I'm adding two text box uh, so that I can display uh, the range uh, I mean now what I have I'm displaying you I'm showing you uh, this is just uh, uh, from 1 to 100 you can uh, put it in dynamically from any range uh, from 1 to 100 or 1000 to 10,000 4000 whatever in that case I'm just adding two text box uh, to a start and in the first text box is to, uh, for start and the second text box is for end okay now go to the button click event and just to mention the text box uh, in the loop for prime number 1 to 100 uh, text box 1 dot text 2 text box 2 dot text instead of 1 to 100 so that you can mention the number range uh, in the, uh, the form uh, ux ui 10 to 13 yes it's displaying 10 to 13 100 to 3 101 to 300 uh, oh it's skipped uh, the uh, first uh, uh, result to clear the first result just uh, add line of code I mean to, uh, just to clear the list box first uh, to this um, before displaying the result in that case in the beginning of the button click even just uh, add the list box one dot item dot clear so it's done now put any range 10 to 40 just click on get yes it's displaying the result from 10 to 40 the prime number 100 to 400 yes it's displaying only 100 to 400 and it's clear the uh, previous result uh, 1000 to uh, 1045 get yes it's displaying only 1000 to 1045 uh, uh, range is uh, the prime number